Hello and welcome to the video series of Palo Alto Content ID. In this video series, we will see how different profiles within Content ID can be created and how those profiles are useful to protect your network and applications against layer 7 attacks. So in this topology, we will be using one Palo Alto firewall with four interfaces, in fact five interfaces, one is connected to internet another is connected to test machine here and then we have one attacker machine which we will use to launch a couple of attacks when the profiles will be there on the Palo Alto firewall in monitoring and blocking mode so we will verify the results in the logs so this uh, TFM guys can use their own topology to replicate all the labs there is no change in the task there is just change in the IP addresses which you guys knows what exactly is your Palo Alto firewall and how you want to access those firewalls and uh, test machines so we'll start again from uh, st uh, task one by one like we do in our previous videos now it says make sure you define specific security policy for each activity is detailed below all activities should collectively work together for best simulation please use Troika Pan iLab okay now objective so task one says configure security profile to block all virus in http protocol configure appropriate security policy and other changes if required on the firewall and how the verification has to be done so there is a test virus file which we need to download from icar.org and then we will verify the logs if we are able to block that test virus or not so to replicate this task, I'll go to this test machine, which is 192.168.70.125. Let me see if my VPN is connected. If it is not, I might need to connect my VPN. So VPN is not connected. I have my VPN now up and running. Go to this test machine. And for internet, I need a security policy and a NAT rule. So from this machine, I should be able to access internet. So let's go to policies and policies under security. Uh, so I'll not put much focus on the security policies in this video because we, have, we, we already know how these policies and application identification work. So I have created a policy with any any. So you guys have to create a specific policy while doing these labs. So I have a security policy which says all the traffic is allowed. And then I have another NAT rule which says any traffic from any zone to internet will be NATed with 203.1.500.106 IP address. So security policy and NAT policy is up to date. I just need to verify if I can access internet from this machine or not. So if you go to CMD, ping 8.8.8.8, I'm able to reach. And let's try to browse a couple of websites as well. Google does work and then for example facebook.com perfect so we have internet up and running from this machine now go to objects under objects we have antivirus and we have one default profile like we discussed in our theory class so for this lab we will create a new profile with default configuration so give the name as for example mm, e pan hyphen tfm hyphen antivirus profile and then if you want to enable packet captures that can be enabled we are not going to do that here so SMTP will have default action as alert SMB will default action as reset and then we have POP3 alert IMF alert HTTP and FTP is set to reset port so you guys know how, why the SMTP POP3 and IMF has been set to alert we have discussed that in our theory class so we'll keep these options default then on the right hand side if you want to create any exception you can have applications for example anything you download via Facebook should not be inspected so you can have the Facebook application as the exception so right now we are not going to test this and then uh, let me delete this blank entry and then you have virus exceptions as well so once uh, a follow to firewall identify any specific pattern as a virus in the logs you will be able to identify that specific threat ID against it so you can have threat ID here and then with the help of threat ID you can have a exceptions created which is there in the task too basically so we have an antivirus profile with default configuration and we have given the name as pan tfm antivirus click on ok and go to policies 
security edit this internet access policy and go to actions and here we have a configuration to call all the security profiles so go to profile type and select profiles and then under antivirus we should see a newly created profile which is pan tfm antivirus perfect so click on ok so another change uh, another configuration which we have to see before we start all this related to content id and that is your license and the uh, updates now if you go to device and if you go to licenses so here it is so for this feature functionality you should have a valid license so here we have for example in case of threat prevention a license valid till june 14 and then if you go to dynamic updates in dynamic updates we have couple of profiles downloaded and installed so there are other profiles available which are for example uh, this one uh, which came on 18th for so it is not installed as of now but the latest one which came on 10.5 is installed and now there is a new one on 16.5 which is downloaded but it is not installed so we'll see how, how we can install that in uh, next few videos now we have a policy with the security profile let's do a commit and once it is done we will try to download the files so let me close this urls go to google and type download tiger file okay in last few days some link has been modified so let me see how to download these iger test files so, so few days back it was straight away direct link now there are a couple of changes in the link so now go to this download area and in download area we have two options now to download the file one is via http and second is via https and there are four options they have given one is straight .com file then .com.txt file then .zip file which is compressed and then we have another zip file which is zipped two times so let's see if we have yes policy has been committed and now the other option is via SSL. So first we'll go via HTTP and then we'll see what happens in HTTPS. So the moment I try to download iger.com, we should get a block page. So now it says virus spyware download block. Download of the virus spyware has been blocked in accordance with the company policy. Awesome. Now if you try to download .txt file, again it should be a block page. Perfect. Now let's try to download the zip file. Again, firewall can detect something malicious is there in the compressed file. So firewall is able to decompress the traffic and firewall is able to identify the file which is there inside that zip folder is malicious. Now someone has done uh, zip twice. So let's see how firewall is behaving in this case. Again, so we could see in case of http.com.txt.zip and .zip twice has been blocked by the firewall without any problem so now try to download a same file via https so let's see what happens the moment i click on .txt i can see file has been downloaded why it has been downloaded because in the case of https everything is encrypted using ssl and your firewall should be configured to use or your firewall should be configured to decrypt that traffic. So once firewall will be able to decrypt the traffic, then firewall will be able to inspect the traffic at layer 7. Yes, this is malicious traffic. So we have seen a couple of labs in application identification, how to generate certificates, how to import certificates, and then how to create a decryption policy as well to decide which traffic you want to decrypt or not. So if you see the task number 2, or in fact first we can go to the logs and see what exactly has happened when we were trying to download the files via HTTP. So go to monitor. So all the logs for antivirus will come under threat. And if you see latest, so 23.5 and type is virus. So there are a couple of I Iker text files here we can see. Then traffic came 
attacker IP address has been given as 213 which will be the ICAR IP address and then 136.1.25 is the R IP address from where we did the test and then it says connection was being reset. So .com, .txt and .zip also has been categorized as .com basically. So we are able to see the logs that this traffic is getting blocked but if you see there is no log related to uh, HTTPS because in that case firewall was not able to decrypt and firewall was not able to inspect that traffic. So that is the reason there is no log as of now in the log file for that iCAR file which we tried to download via HTTPS. Now uh, if you go to the second task, the second task says configure decryption policy so that virus can be detected and blocked for HTTPS. It is straight forward. You just need to import certificates and then create decryption profile and then run the same test again. So I will not replicate this task now in this video. I will leave this to you. So you guys know how to download the certificates, how to import the certificates. If you don't know, refer to the application identification videos and then you will be able to get to know how the certificates work and how the decryption policy can be created. So it has got two parts. One is to create a decryption profile and then try to download the iCAR.txt that has to be blocked and then another says uh, try to download that file after the exception has been created. So how you can create exception I can tell you here and we can replicate this here in this video. So you can replicate the same via HTTP as well. As well. So if you click on this log, uh, so we have a thread ID here, copy this thread ID, close, uh, go to objects, antivirus, pan tfm antivirus, virus exception and add it. So it does detect it as an ICA test file. So click on OK, commit. Now via HTTP also, I should be able to download all the files. So let's wait for a few seconds for policy to be pushed and then we can verify. Now go back and okay now go back and try to download a dot zip and we have this zip file because we did create exception so because of exception now i'm able to download so you have to replicate tasks too with certificates and with exception so that's all i have in my mind for this video thank you very much and i hope you are enjoying this video series from Tracker system